in my career, I always look for challenges and I always look for something to keep me going and uh, give me motivation. I like the vision of the club, being back in Euroleague and the tradition of it, and I wanted to come here and join the club. After playing his entire professional career in his native Greece, last summer Ioannis Papapetru left home to join Partizan Mozart Bet Belgrade on their return to the Euroleague. The Serbian culture and the Greek culture is uh, very similar. Uh, the scenery in the city is very close to what I'm used to, so everything is really uh, going great. I think we should consider ourselves uh, underdogs because uh, after so many years uh, the club is back in Euroleague and uh, we should fight for everything. I think we have the talent, uh, we have some experience, we have also some uh, young guys uh, with uh, a lot of talent and desire, so uh, it's good to be underdogs. I think it's our job to give 100% to bring the club back where it belongs. In choosing Partizan, Papa Petru links up with a legend of his former club, Panathinaikos Athens. Jalko Obradovic won five of his nine Euroleague titles with the Greek powerhouse. You know, growing up and watching his teams play uh, in Panathinaikos was an unbelievable experience, you know, uh, uh, how well you know, Parathinaikos did and how much he succeeded. When you mention uh, his name, uh, it goes along with Parathinaikos and his achievements. I know how much they love him and how much they appreciate him. This is, you know, uh, excellent opportunity for him also to show everything that he has inside. I would like to be more aggressive offensively and I talk to him, you know, about this, that part of the game and of course his experience because he's player that he played Really, a lot of, lot of games in your league will be something very important to help the rest of the, of the teammates. He's a unit, and it goes back to, you know, he can play the, the three, four, and can guard the one. But I think, you know, that's the, the best thing about our team. We have these guys that have been around for so long and have all these experiences and can help these younger guys that we have on our team. As we get deeper and deeper into the season, he's going to be one of the guys that you know, I know I'm definitely going to lean on, but I think the team's going to lean on as a leader um, going forward. I came close to Euroleague two times. I lost, lost in the final with Olympiacos. I understand how difficult Euroleague is, how competitive it is, and you know, only one team wins. We've got a long season and a long way to go, and, uh, uh, I would be happy to, to make playoffs, honestly, first of all, and try to fight after this because, you know, after playoffs, anything can happen.